Hi, I'm Dr. Naveed Khan. I'm with Shady Grove Fertility here in Leesburg, Virginia. Some of the common causes of miscarriage include genetic reasons, which is by far the most common. Half the time there's something wrong either uh, genetically with the uh, forming embryo or developmentally with that embryo. Um, sometimes there is genetic causes coming from the parents as well. Uh, for example, translocations, inversions, which are some specific types of genetic or disorders that can be passed from the parents to the uh, baby, and there are some tests that we can do to actually evaluate that. Uh, some other things other than genetic, which, uh, I, like I said, is the most common. Uh, other reasons are uterine abnormalities, uh, structural issues, which can uh, predispose one to miscarriage, uh, fibroids, which can distort the cavity, and uh, cause a pregnancy to be lost, uh, endocrinologic reasons like thyroid disorders uh, uh, can predispose one to miscarriage as well as some immunologic causes like anticardiolipin -like antibodies. So uh, putting all those things together would constitute about 50% of the ex uh, causes or explanation can be uh, determined by the testing, but half the time there's no explanation. That can be pretty frustrating at times, but um, it should be reassuring because that tells you that there's nothing majorly wrong and that more than likely down the line that you will ultimately be able to uh, deliver a baby and carry to term. I'd like to explain some myths that are commonly out there. So the internet is filled with information, some good, some bad, some true, some not. Um, some of the causes um, uh, or some of the more common myths of miscarriage are that stress can induce uh, miscarriage, that uh, drinking coffee, uh, having uh, intercourse uh, can uh, cause miscarriage, lifting heavy objects can cause miscarriage. Sometimes people believe that being on birth control or IED or uh, having some sort of STD in the past can. Uh, result in a miscarriage or contribute to a miscarriage. Now I can tell you for sure that none of those things cause miscarriages. Like I said, there's a lot of information out there, there's a lot of old wives tales, but in reality there's a really not a whole lot that once a baby's implanted that one has control over whether or not it's going to continue or not. It's usually how the baby's developing, uh, usually there's something wrong with the baby itself, the either it's developing abnormally or there's some sort of genetic issue uh, that causes it or predisposes it to be lost, uh, but there's usually not something outright that someone does uh, uh, that causes the miscarriage. And many times we're looking for reasons as to why it happens and blame ourselves for it when really it is not uh, your fault or anyone's fault, it's just unfortunately just wasn't good pregnancy.